So I am in my backyard and I'm taking this video to help you out with your moss lab a little bit. And I have found a clump of moss. I'm really zooming in there and getting close. And you can see this moss. This is in my backyard. There's kind of a brushy area and I'm in a deer path uh, in my backyard. And so you can see the moss here with the gametophytes and the sporophytes uh, coming out the top. And for your lab, you're going to have to isolate one little plant. And so I already pulled some apart. This here is one little moss plant. So here, this whole clump probably has hundreds of little moss plants in it. And this is just one. Now, you're going to want to separate one out and look at the rhizoids here. That would be the root-like structure on this plant. This is a gametophyte. And at the very top of the gamet gametophyte right there, that is where the zygote will form. And this is not focusing very well right now. Whoops. I'm just too close. So that is where the zygote will form. And from the zygote will form the sporophyte, which is the stalk here. Let me try to get that. So the stalk coming out the top, there we go there with the capsule at the top. Now this time of year, I know your lab tells you to try to find some green capsules. I don't think you're going to find them. You're probably just going to find the brown capsules, but go ahead and take a look at the brown capsule. Don't worry about the green capsule. Uh, maybe just do a search for that on the internet and in Google and find a picture to look at some green capsules on top of moss. But you can see out of the top there, the sporophyte grew from the zygote to produce that capsule at the top. So that is what you need to look at for this lab. Anything that says you should use a microscope, just ignore because you probably don't have a microscope. If you have a microscope, go ahead and play around with it. But do not worry about that part. Just do your best with your hand lens.